J Drone here. Check it out. I bought this in the Disney store before Christmas. I thought I'd get the unboxing up before Christmas, but that did not happen. This is why I bought it. That's why I bought it. Um, we'll go ahead and check it out back. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. The Tinker and me just could not help myself. It's Tinker ready. It's like, hey, Jay, you don't like it like this? We knew you were going to make this out of this. So look, we included it. It's pretty cool. To open this box, very simply, slit that. Pop those out. Pop open. This comes out easily. You don't got to damage this box. Because maybe when you're done with this, maybe you want to put it back in like this for display. I don't know. Um, so right off the bat, those feel like rubber. Uh, I can't feel those. Those are wrapped in plastic. We'll get this all uh, opened right now. So far, so good. We got uh, this, this, and that out. This, however, is held on by Phillips screws underneath it. So in order to keep this display ready, you're going to have to be a little bit careful with it super easy uh you just got to cut a piece of tape off the back and then you can kind of bend this away from it get a phillips in there and then you'll be able to remove it there is the box it is not damaged it is crispy all this stuff can go back in it but this is an unboxing so we're going to show you what's in it you have your controller you have your little snot rod for your hood you got your big tires you got this this just pops right off that was to protect it in the package do not lose this otherwise you ain't switching nothing unless you got a set of tools but that's the only tool that came with this that i see um this is other stuff probably to make the conversion for this what i did notice is that boom you have a pull tab there you have a pull tab right there so batteries this is probably ready to go which is awesome and if it is maybe we'll get some footage here So as far as the controller goes, this thing is one of the lightest controllers I've ever held in my life. Uh, as far as your rear throttle goes, we'll go ahead and twist that up. We will go ahead and squeeze the trigger. It's all or nothing. And you can see I've been running it in the house. If you're gonna run these in the house, be aware, hair is going, you can see, see the little hair? It's gonna get wrapped up around that shaft. I generally don't run stuff in the house because I got dogs, I got shag carpet. Uh, my wife has long hair. Um, but as you can see, you don't have proportional throttle. Same thing with the steering. It's all or nothing. Uh, right now it's pretty cool. It was able to drive on the shag carpet. It was able to drive on regular carpet. It looks amazing. Let's see if we can't get those tires on this. So with this, I'm already impressed. You can see the lock unlock thing icon right there. That's all you had to do to remove the axle, which is right there with the gear, which is what the original tires, boom, go on. Now we're going to upgrade the rear, which is that. It's simply going to drop in here. And then you're going to spin the nub to the lock position. You're done. That's it. There's no wiring. There's no screws. To, dude, I'm impressed. I'm very impressed by this little setup. I don't know why other companies aren't doing this. You get two toys for the price of one. And it was ready to go. I didn't have to play with no batteries. I didn't have to. Uh, I didn't have to take this stupid little thing, go find a screwdriver that was not included in this, and uh, boom, it was already set. You just pull the tab. All right, so clearly this is going to be able to go over a little bit more than the other setup would have, but this really doesn't have that much power. So unless you're going to do a LiPo mod, this isn't a great, great setup. It's an okay setup. The rear tires is a great setup for it. The front tires is not a great setup for it. As wide as they are, it offers offers awful steering radius um my initial idea was to leave those on and leave those tires on but we don't have enough clearance we need to raise it up higher i have a couple ideas i'd like to do it i'd like to get a smaller i'd like to put that back on i'd like to put that back on and get tires on the front quite smaller than the back then we'll probably have maneuverability <sighs> So 
So ideally, this is kind of what you want to go for. You can see we still don't got much clearance, but you can see our turning radius. Uh, our front is a lot in close versus the back. And as you can see, the, the wheels kind of camber. Um, it does run woo, as I knock over it. He said, boom, it does run. It's a little goofy. This was a quick, uh, a quick fix not to have uh, that front axle set up that was uh, the same size as the back with the same tire. It made no sense. Disney, I am J-Drone. Why don't y'all hire me? Before y'all come out with these toys, why don't you let me test them? Um, because that's a very poor setup. It, it's cool design. It's cool that you can pop this stuff off. It's cool that it's like an entry level into building your own RC. The car itself is amazing. Um, it is lackluster in power. The car itself feels nice. The controller is extremely toy grade. Guys, I'm J-Drone. If you haven't subscribed, smash the subscribe button questions, comments, concerns. Put it down below. I'll definitely get at you.